Hi everybody, Linda Carroll here from my studio, Gather of Great Things, and this is the second day of Christmas. Of course, this is showing <laughs> a day later, but the second day of Christmas was yesterday, December 26th, and um, I decided, if you didn't see the first video, to do collages for the 12 days of Christmas. The inspiration came from a children's book uh, that I had when I was, oh, let's see, five years old. And I always love the illustrations in this book. And what I decided to do is to use the main elements in the illustrations to inspire a piece of collage. I've limited myself um, in some ways in that the original pieces that I pulled, um, I'm using uh, until they're gone. I pulled um, an ad from a French magazine, and I'll take this these little pieces off here, that was illustrated by an artist named Mariette Lydus. And she was born in Austria. Uh, she escaped Austria during World War II and went to Paris, uh, went to France, and um, started her illustration and painting career. Um, eventually, she ended up in South America, in Brazil, I believe, and continued her artwork until, doing her artwork until she passed away in, uh, I think it was 1970. I'll double check that. Uh, but I love her work. Uh, I love the softness of the pencils that she uh, used to render this particular face. And this was an ad um, for makeup. So I started with this, pulled this from the French magazine. I found my, I used my two turtle doves from the children's book. So here they are. And as I was working on pooling items that I was going to use in the collage, I came across checks that a woman had written back in 1950 in San Francisco. And the dates are up here on the check. And basically what I'm doing is using the uh, the dates and some of the other symbols on these checks. So I found um, the check that was had December 26th on it. And at first I thought, well, I will use that and replace the dove that was in the illustration with uh, part of this check. And I traced around the dove in the original illustration. And then I laid the dove on top of the check Let's say this was a check, and I laid the dove on top of the check so that I would get the date December 26th uh, in, the, in the cutout. So that was my first thought. I was going to do that. And the original layout, I had, let's see, I had this here. I wanted originally to put the dove up here at the top of her head but as I played around with it I really needed 
to place the face on the page like this with the top of her head at the top of the page. So I moved the dove down and it kind of like her eyebrows continued from the feathers on the dove's tail. And these are the kinds of things that you want to look for when you're when you're creating a collage. You want to, even though these things don't really make a whole lot of realistic sense when you're putting them together, design-wise, you want them to blend in with other images, uh, with the images, so that it looks like it belongs there and it looks like it could be real. So I liked the way that laid out and I liked the way um, the eyebrows kind of blend into the tail. And I'll probably take my pencil and lightly continue these lines out here like this so that the eyebrows actually do go into the tail. So I like that. That worked out really well. And then I started looking around and I had cut this two out of the wrapping paper that I got uh, wrapped around a Christmas present and I used on the first page in the background. So I cut out this two and I thought, well, I'm, it kind of follows the line of her eyebrow. So I kind of tucked it up here and I really liked the way that looked. And so I, I'm kind of contemplating what I needed next. And I had two red items here on the page. But I had also cut out of Myrna Loy's face out of another advertisement uh, that I used on the first page. I cut out her lips and I thought, well, I'm going to replace the lips that are on the illustration with some more realistic lips and darker. So it kind of draws you right into the collage. So, okay, I have two red items. I needed a third red item. So I looked through my stamp book and um, I was looking for red item and I found this really pretty stamp from France. And since that connects to Marriott's life, I thought, well, I'll use this. And I needed to do a triangle. Uh, so I thought, well, if I put it up here in this corner, I will have a triangle that will kind of encompass one of the doves. And it balances out my layout. But I didn't like it uh, attached directly to that part of the image. I needed to separate it a little bit. So from the check that I was working with, um, there is throughout the checks this image, I don't know if you can see it, it's very, very light, of a state seal. And so I cut off, it happened on this check to fall in this corner. So I thought, well, let me try this. And I put this right up in the corner and laid the stamp over the top of it. So I'm increasing my layering. And that also lifted the stamp up off of the page a little bit. And I like that a lot. So my collage is starting to come together. My story is starting to be 
told and I thought, well, I needed something down here to cover up this part of the background page. And I saw Myrna Loy's hand in the advertisement. So I thought, well, let's put that here. on the bottom of this page. And I really like that. The uh, hand is in the same proportion as her face. And since this whole little song is talking about communication between two people, I really liked the fact that she's on the telephone um, in this strip behind her hand and but I what I didn't like is I didn't like this bird anymore I really liked the date but I didn't like the bird so I cut out the other bird the other dove um, from the children's book and I placed it on her hand so that it's sitting on her finger and I could maneuver this piece of the check around so I could see the date and it kind of looked like the top of a heart to me. And I don't know, that really, really worked. So my story is becoming more clear. And I made sure that this edge right here, that the tail of the dove was going to take care of that hard edge. And also I wanted the tail to blend into the bottom of her hair and kind of continue the waves down here uh, into the picture. So I really, really like the way that looked, but then I'm left with the wing of the dove. So I had a piece from yesterday's collage Remember, I cut off right below the nose, and over in this corner, I had a piece of the background left. So, I cut that out and lined it up with the background here, and it just blends perfectly. So, I sat back and I looked at this piece, and I really, really like it a lot. I have, um, my, I have my layers built up. I'm not using any more than two-thirds of this image in the background. I have a story that has developed. I have connections between the woman's face in the background, the illustrator, where she went when she fled uh, Austria during World War II. I have the number two for two turtle doves. There's a number two up in the stamp. I have the date, the second day of Christmas, which is December 26th, so the 26th of December. Um, the telephone kind of symbolizes communication, and all in all, it's really uh, pulled together, and I really, really uh, like this uh, collage a lot. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to put the text from the book to turtle doves anywhere in here and I still haven't decided the only place I could think of was there 
but that really kind of draws your eye down off of the page. So I didn't like that. Um, but I think for now, uh, this collage is, is finished. Except for, I will go in with my pencil and my uh, Posca pens and do a little bit of um, refining of areas and, uh, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I'll put some music on and you can relax and um, just watch the process of gluing this. And I think because uh, this figure and this face in the background is going to cover the entire page, I'm going to glue everything to that first. And then I'm going to glue the background to the page itself that is my plan. So let's start with the number two. Now, I need to get in here with a sharp X-Acto knife. Find my new blades here. Not there. You want to make sure that your knife blade is really sharp when you're doing um, these fine cuts. Um, and indeed, sometimes you can only get, you know, maybe 10 cuts uh, with a blade. But I like to fussy cut very, very close to my images so that my, all my pieces blend together. So I cut out all of this with scissors, except I just couldn't get my scissors in into this little spiral area here so very carefully i'm cutting with my exacto knife i'm cutting on a self-healing mat and You can see I'm kind of moving the number two around instead of always moving my knife. Okay. I'm happy with that. So I think first I'm going to glue down the number two. And I want to make sure that the tail overlaps the edge of the number two. And I'm deciding if I want it to cover the entire eyebrow, and I do. Okay, so I'm just going to use a glue stick. Some people use um, gel mediums. Uh, some people use um, spray glues. I don't use spray glues. I can't stand them. 
uh, spray glue gets everywhere, my hands get sticky, and I get really anxious. So, on this one, I'm going to use the glue stick. And I'll fiddle with that a little bit more. Now on this one, I'm not going to distress the edges. Um, I like the, the, uh, the way that Okay, I had a bit of a technical malfunction. Somebody tried to call me on my phone, and since I'm filming with my phone, it stopped the video recording. So everything is glued down. So I did go ahead and glue everything down. I want to put a, uh, point out a few things um, about why I did some things in the... Um, in this particular collage. I really wanted to keep Mariette's name in the collage since she uh, is an important, her, her illustration is an important part of the collage. So I did keep her first name. Um, there is repetition in this collage. I have the three items that are red up here. And then there's also her fingernail down here is red. So we have a triangle here and we have a triangle here. So that helps your eye travel throughout the collage. And also we have the edge of the postage uh, stamp repeated here in the bank uh, check and also in the stamp. Um, this is uh, the layout. I, I really, really like this layout um, for a lot of reasons. Everything's coming together. I have, I'm telling the story. I uh, definitely have my two turtle doves. I have my looks like a part of a heart to me for my true love and so the only thing I have left to do is to go in with my Posca pens and my uh, pan pastels and um, my color pencils and um, add a few more little details to this uh, and I think that it will, it'll be completed. Um, when I saw, I, I looked on the internet when I saw the original illustration for this ad, it was very different from the printed version that I had. The background was a dark blue. Um, personally, I kind of like this lighter blue, uh, blue gray. And her eyes had some blue in them. And also her cheeks and the tip of her nose, and you can't see this hand anymore, but the fingers on her left hand had pink, uh, a much darker pink than was shown in the, uh, into this, in this picture. So, what I want to do now is, let's see, I need my pencil sharpener here, is go in and, this one isn't working, use the noise. Okay, I need a sharp pencil 
to go in here and redefine her eyebrow. And I'm going to do the same on this side and make sure that I've joined the tail into her eyebrow. Okay, and I want to use my Posca pen and define her fingernail some more. So that we really do have a red red down here in this corner. Um, I think that I need to, I know that I need to start um, blending this blue into her hair. And the end of the tail into her hair. And I want to, her um, jacket, the jacket down here um, is dark blue. And not that I want to call attention to the dark blue down here jacket, um, but th this is the only really dark blue. So I want to go up into her eyes and add a bit of darker blue. So, let me see if I can find a color pencil that will match. Yeah, I think this gives just enough um Touch of blue to her eye. Okay, 
And usually I use pan pastels um, around the edges of my figures when I'm when I'm doing uh, this type of collage. And let's see, I think it'll kind of brighten this just a little bit, just like the color pencil did with her eyes. Like I said in the original illustration, it was the blue was really dark. And I didn't really care for that, but this is just kind of brightening it up a little bit. And I do like this. And if you're working with pan pastels, um, if you rub over it with your finger, it seems to set it. So. And around the outside of the edge of the wings so they're defined a little bit more. Sun starting to come in on my table. So, better wrap this up soon. And I'm thinking that I really want to include her last name on this piece because I've just discovered her and I don't want to forget who she is. So even though I changed the layout a little bit, I don't think she would be uh, disappointed. And maybe some more people will discover her too. And here comes the sun. The, the D uh, looks like an A in her in her writing and I had a little bit of a trouble uh, finding her when I 
was looking her up on Google and let's see. I really, really like the way this has turned out. So, this is the second day of Christmas collage. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching the construction of this piece. And I really want to thank everybody for watching and continuing to support my channel. Please remember to click like if you enjoyed this video and leave a comment about how you might be doing your own collage along with me and the items that you use um, or what you think about this series so far in my weird and wonky journal. So here is on the first day of Christmas and this is the second day of Christmas. So I hope you all are having a great day or evening, whichever the case may be. And um, thank you again for watching. I'll see you again soon. Many blessings to you. Bye for now.